So, you said you were going to take me to the beach. Well, we're sort of at the beach. Are we? I'll show you the beach in a minute. Okay. Just let me do this. Yes. Okay. Now, if we're really lucky, someone will answer. Yeah. <laughs> if we're lucky. Did you bring your bands? Yeah. Hello. Hello, Anne. Hello. How are you? Hi. Um, I told Jane I was bringing you to the beach. So I'm sorry. It's just beautiful. Um, yes, they had a lot there for people mm -hmm. to buy, and that one was already sold. So someone else in that has one very similar. And it's and so contemporary, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, the workmanship's amazing. Mm -hmm. And when you see them do it and how rough they've got these big scissors and they yeah. just tuck it under and yeah. stitch it down so quickly. I know what they're um, doing. So that was, they took the order away, and three months later, I got the quilt. Wow. Yeah. It was just so quick. That's just a perfect spot for it. Mm, yes, it So how did you actually get started quilting? When I was a sewer. Okay. I made all my own clothes when I was young. Yep. And yep. Uh, it was a natural progression. I actually tried to make two quilts back in the 80s. Okay. I did not know anything about quilting groups. Yep. I didn't know there were quilting shops. Yep. I lived in the country. Yeah, we were, we were, we were like that. And okay. I missed so many years because I didn't really start until about 90, uh, 2002. I had my first lesson okay. in a class down at Patrick by Sea. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think I did a machine quilting class with Rachel. At the same mm. place. Yep. And then I got really busy with mm. a variety lash car yep. and was organising <laughs> all their events. And we raised one year, that first year was 102,000. That's fantastic. And yeah. their highest fundraising amount was 175,000 in one yeah. year. That's pretty cool. So we had events every month, yep. mm -hmm. which I organised. Yep. And uh, so I didn't have time. And then I met Dorothy Patterson. Okay. If everyone knows Dorothy, mm -hmm. who's a golfing friend. And we were billeted together, well, not billeted, but allocated a room together at a golf tournament mm -hmm. up in the Barossa. And I said, how so I want to go to the Barossa Valley uh, for the Barossa quilts to have a look at that. And she says, oh, well, I, te I um, work at um, Rivoli. Mm -hmm. And there began my journey there you go. because um, I wanted to make a quilt for a child that was applique and she said go back to Rivoli, buy this book um, and do a um, insects, I think it was all, you know, worms. She sent you on the path. She sent yeah. me on the path. Yeah. I went overseas, for, oh, that was on the Wednesday and I went mm. overseas on the Friday, already had the patches, already um, there and I stitched them on the plane and by the time I got back it was finished. Well, well, so well, I fell in love you. with that okay, well, and made lots of quilts for children, ABC quilts. Yeah. Um, I probably did about 10 of them mm. and uh, then I progressed to other things. Mm. Cool. So you've got a lot of family members overseas? Um, now uh, my sister used to live overseas. Yeah. Um, so this that, is another one? Yeah, that was a challenge. So what um, was the challenge? The challenge was oh. South Australia. <laughs> oh, no, look. South Australia. Um, I can't remember the tagline, but um, 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 we were going back to sea or something. Mm, was, was it a like challenge orange? for a group? Are you in no, a group? No, or? no, no, this was a challenge for the Festival of Quilts. Oh, okay, okay, and, okay. Um, um, that was my second entry into a festival okay mm. so talking about groups uh, are you in a group yes i'm in saint stitches okay and this year i hope to be joining stitching matters okay mm. so i've scheduled it in my diary oh well mm. it's so I'm looking it's forward to that and i i'm standing here because i don't really want to walk past this door because we can see what's in okay room. can we look so in here yeah yep this is here you go first oh, thank you 
I don't know if any of you who haven't been to a meeting or didn't get to the exhibition know. Look at the quilting. But this one awards this that. one um, in the last festival quilts, 2023. Yes. This one first prize, my very first blue ribbon. Congratulations. Um, in its category, yes. which is okay. And I also won the Excellence in Machine Quilting yes. on Stationary Machine. Yes. And then I won Viewer's Choice. Beautiful. So how exciting is that? That is just yeah. stunning, yeah. Anne. Yeah, it sounds very exciting. Your quilting is just beautiful. Thank you. And look at this lovely cushion. Yes, that's Welsh quilting. Um, so that's by Machine as well? Yes, and it's, it's Welsh because of its design. Mm -hmm. It usually has a central circle. The oh. leaves always feature, or nearly always feature. Yeah. Um, a lot of cross-hatching features in their quilting. Um, so I had a lot of fun doing that. Mm. I noticed there's one in the chair there as yeah, well. Yeah, we've got that on the beat. Yeah. Sorry, oh, I interrupted. We yes, will we'll get to the sewing room, I promise. But it is a bit more eye candy. So, this is um, a Judy Madsen style of quilting. Judy Madsen is a famous quilter in the States. Yep. And she does a lot of this squares on squares. Oh, and it's a lot of rural work, isn't it? A lot of rural work yes. and, and very intense quilting. Yeah. But it's surprisingly soft. Yes. You feel it. Yeah, I'm oh, amazed nice. at how soft it is. Oh, it is. Um, despite all that quilting. Mm. And is there a particular type of thread you like to use? I do like glide because yeah. I love the sheen of the yes. glide. Yeah. But I have been using Isacord, which is available here at um, on so the shop on Port Road. Yeah. Um, Isn't it about so oh. this yes. Fabric twisters are so interesting, aren't they? Because that really looks like a... Um, Sari? A sari or it a is. barley print or it something. It's a sari. Yes. It is. Yeah. I picked it up for two dollars I think in our um, giveaway sale at yeah. uh, the sewing group. But isn't it lovely the way it um, the colour moves around it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I did a class with Judy Madsen and you'll okay. see later a couple of the samples mm, okay. I did to learn how to yeah. do all this. That's just lovely. Um, Thanks for that. So that was in the show in twenty twenty two. Okay. All right, back to the sewing room, yes. unless we find something else. Uh-oh, I found something else on the way. <laughs> Can we check this one out? Okay. Can we? Yes, yes she said yes. okay. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, we set one of the mysteries in 2020. That was Chris's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Those little flying geese. Cassophilus. Cassophilus. I made two of these. Chris O'Brien, if I knew how many flying geese there were in that. Why did you make two? Because I couldn't decide which colourway. So that was my first foray into using rulers. Yep. And uh, really enjoyed doing mm. that. Mm. That's very effective with the colours. Are you a blue girl? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. Actually, I'm, I'm multiple. I, I love pink too. Yeah, yes. oh, pink's um, me. Okay. Okay. We're, we're going to go to the sewing room this yes. time, I promise. Okay. I promise. I think I promise. I used to sew in my laundry. Right. Until COVID hit so and my, my, heart, my partner decided to retire. Mm. And I s mentioned it would be nice if I could have my sewing room in here. And he said, okay, let's do it. Well, so next thing, he had worked out where the big desk would go. Yeah. Um, and that the filing cabinets should go over there. Yeah. Got and, it all um, and then I had room to buy a Q20. Oh, oh so that is just so fantastic. Oh, you did the wedge sampler with Yes, I did Rachel's wedge sampler. That, that was, was online, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was online. That's yeah. fabulous. Really enjoyed I've it. I've half done mine. Yeah. I've yeah. yeah. done mine. Um, and, uh, so, I'm just looking at my questions again. You told me what you got started on. You're sewing on a, you quilt on a banana. What do you sew? I've done 440, yeah, which I love. Yeah. And um, can't upgrade because the, then you have to have a new cabinet. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I haven't got room. Yeah. And I don't want to upgrade. I yeah. love this yeah. machine. She's a beauty. Yeah. It does everything I need. So. Okay. Tell me, do you have a favourite tool? I do. Okay. What this is my favourite tool. Oh, okay. What's yes. it called? Uh, a mini stash and store. Okay. And I think I've just used blue tack to stick oh, on there. Oh, it's stuck there. So, so you've, you've got, you've got a glue stick. A yeah, I've got uh, a toothpick. You've got your toothbrush? 
Oh, oh you've got tweezers. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't everybody have their bras and What an interesting array and a black hat. Oh, no, it's a pig. It's a pig. Oh, that's my scissors. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, you've got scissors. Are they? Yes. And so, oh, what a great idea. Yeah. All right, I'm going to ask the question. Why have you got a pair of tweezers and a toothpick? Well, we are so picking. Yes. Tweezers are fantastic for getting the threads out. Oh, okay. It's a bit okay. tough. Yes. A bit short. Okay. Yes. yes. Pull that with the tweezers. What a good idea. Well, that's a bit organised. And the toothpick <laughs> I was using when I was doing the raffle quilt. I don't okay. know if you know. You've seen the, the raffle, raffle launch, quilt uh, last month. The festival of quilts. The festival yes. quilts. And we've got that beautiful mystery Conway, mm. Conway Owl quilt. Still haven't found out who made it. Not yet. No. But we're mm. putting out calls and mm. we're in this, uh, this month's mm. patch. Um, so some of the uh, needle turn applique, but it wasn't quite tucked under. I oh. just get out my little toothpick and tuck it under. Here I was. And it didn't stick or, you know, like a pair of scissors or a needle would yeah. be yeah. catching. It just, it just tucks it under beautifully. Oh. So when you say uh, it's a mystery, you don't know who did it, someone made the top, is that someone right? Someone made the top. And you could Three years it. ago, mm. they handed all their cooling materials over to the yeah. quarters. Mm. And she lived in the area of Mitchell Park, and we don't know her so name. We didn't hear her name because we didn't know this no, beautiful no. top was mm. in there. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, we would love to know mm. who so did it because the workmanship is yeah. stunning. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely so stunning. I guess if you're watching this and your mum, your auntie, your sister got rid of gear or you got rid of gear, you might need to contact Anne. No, 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 recognise no, no. the quilt, it's on the website. And then we can put your name on it. Yes, yes. and it will be featuring in February Eye Patch. Yeah. Mm. So it is on that. No. Okay. Yes. So what's under the needle? Uh, a pen? Well, <laughs> actually, at the moment, I'm in between things. So okay. I'm doing a class yeah. with Beth Ann Nemish, yeah. who's an American quilter. Yes. And it's, all, it's called Blooming Botanicals. Yes. And so we're learning how to stitch all different forms oh, of there's all these there's acorns, there's uh, grapes, there's pine cones, um, all sorts of different yeah. buds, how oh, you do buds on the I side, know. how you do flowers at, um, and from the uh, side. these are informal, aren't they? They're yes. not the um, traditional sort of flower. Yeah. They're just yeah. lovely. And the main thing is teaching you how to keep moving without backtracking. Oh, so oh, that okay. you wouldn't we all like to know that? Yes, because if you look at the leaves, or actually, yeah, that was my first class. Okay, I'm a bit behind. There's three classes. Oh, We've okay. had three, I've only yeah. done one. So oh. that's my finished piece after the first class. Yes. And if you look at the leaves, they don't join anywhere. Okay, and that's the trick. Oh. Isn't that's it? the trick, you don't yeah. join anything. Um, and she teaches you how to get in and out of a flower. Yes. Uh, yeah. Whether yeah. it be from the side, we're here, we've just um, come in on the side of a petal and gone back out that You're way. Certainly yeah. Oh, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. So, this was my test piece here where I was testing out which thread I was going to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but I've done a lot of art quilts, that's why I thought I'd show you these. Yeah, lovely. Um, I love this stuff. Um, what is you make your own fabric yeah. oh, by okay. you have um, uh, soluble violin, you yes. place one layer down, and then you place your, you, sometimes you have scraps of fabric, like here I've done it, where all different scraps, and I've used sequin material, and mm -hmm. I've used organza and lace mm -hmm. um, to make the fabric. And then you, you lay it all on the first layer of soluble, mm -hmm. then you put the other layer of soluble, and then you stitch the hell out of it. So this mm. is all heavily stitched. And then you touch it. This is yeah, all heavily stitched. Yeah. And, and then you wash it away. Is and that you the end wool up... that's got the baubles in it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so this is all just oh. different wools. Mm. And it just gives a beautiful dimension. Yeah, it does. Doesn't look good. If I hold it up, you see how it sort of yeah, it gives that dimension. Mm. So, um, and, and this is actually the my partner way. walking the dog next to the Fraser River. In so, this is inside from photographs. Well, actually, it was a Gloria Lofman class that I yeah. did. No, not Gloria Lofman. Oh, the other one, Carolyn Sharkey. Yeah, okay. Did a class with her. And so, that was my piece that I did with her. And once yeah. again, this is the yeah. using the same thing. Um, wool's fabulous to make lovely tree yeah. type yeah. fabrics. 
So, um, okay, so I have another question. Sure. And you are. Yes. Do you have between one and ten UFOs? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm one of those people that has to finish what I start. Yeah, I'm one of those people that has to start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't sort of start something else until okay. I've got things well, finished. But I do have a few UFOs over here. One can I tell you you're not at the top of the list? Oh, I can you believe know. that, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, do you have any storage ideas that you could... I that you actually, uh, Chris so, O'Brien said I had to show you this. Yes. Okay, well, let's look. What is it? Oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> when you don't there have it, you look at other alternatives. Yes. And I must say I cheated. I found this idea in, online with someone in Western Australia. Yeah, isn't that fantastic? In fact, my girlfriend in Western Australia posted me a picture and I said, oh, I love that idea. So is that yeah. a meter in there? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. Can you look in the natural? Oh, yeah. Uh, on the spot. Yeah, yeah, but you've still got stuff in there. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah. So, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. My partner says I have too much fabric. I said I've oh, got nothing compared with most people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then well, this is the black and white drawer. Right. So that's all my black and white. So yeah. Yes. So, uh -huh. um, and then down um, here is my... Colours. Okay. Um, and what's in this one? That's all our business stuff. Oh, we're, we're not going to look in that one. No, we won't look at that. We won't look at that today. So that's the Gloria Lofton workshop. That's the Gloria Lofton workshop. Yeah. 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 So the original one I did with her um, is overseas. Yeah. So I don't have that one. Now, um, um, can you say Jane doing that? <laughs> She's the same rank for that. Okay. But I have one more question to ask, and I think I know the answer. I believe that you have other interests which include being a champion. Oh, <laughs> I've won three um, championships at okay. the clubs. Okay. Uh, one at Lake South Hill, two at Kyonga Golf Club. Fantastic. Yes, I love golf, and my other interest is French. I do. Do you, do you know what I learned? Here's my French lesson for you. I learned it on what's that show with Tom Gleason? Hard quiz. Hard quiz. Oh. <laughs> Where did the word Parliament come from? Parler to speak. That's it. Uh -huh. I, mm. that well, I didn't know that, but there you just go. said it on the Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, very good. So, yes, I'm in a group with my So you're a busy lady. lady. Yeah. A very busy lady. Mm. Yes, I've mm. never got much spare time. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing some of it with us and inviting Jane to the beach. I'll try and take it to the sand <laughs> later. Yes. Um, it's been lovely looking at your sewing room. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Really nice. And if you've got a sewing room, we're not scary and still upright, <laughs> no stress, you can invite us to see your sewing room. Fantastic. Bye. Thanks very much, Anne. Thank you. Bye. Bye.